You are welcome to my presentation on triple assessment method. Triple assessment method. This is an extension of my presentation on risk and uncertainty. Risk and uncertainty. So we'll be examining the triple assessment method triple assessment method so in risk and uncertainty we'll be looking at the maximum 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 mini uh, maximus maximus and minimus regret and minimus mini max regret maximum maximus and minimax regret what do, now what do you mean by maximus Number one, maxi max. Maxi mass. The first maxi is talking about maximum. The second one also is talking about maximum as well. Therefore, maximum rule involves selecting the alternative that maximizes the maximum payoff achievable. When you select an alternative that maximizes the maximum payoff achievable, that is called maximus. Maximus rule. Maximus rule involves selecting the alternatives selecting the alternatives or the option alternatives that maximizes the maximum pay off achievable that is maximus this approach will be suitable, I mean the maximus rule, will be suitable for investors, will be suitable for an optimistic investors or risk-seeking investors. That is the investor who seeks to achieve the best result if the best happens. So it is suitable for the investors who wishes to achieve the best result if the best happens. That is, this approach is suitable for the risk-seeking investors. It is suitable for risk-seeking investors. That is, the investors that are ready to, to uh, accept the best possible, where the best happens. So that is the maximus rule. Number two I'm going to examine is the maximum. Maximum, the first maximum, maximum, you choose the maximum of the minimum. This one, you choose the maximum of the maximum. You want to choose the maximum of the maximum in maximus rule. But for maximum, you want to choose the maximum of the minimum. So, the maximum is the rule, this rule involves selecting the alternative that maximizes the minimum payoff achievable. That is, when you choose the alternative that maximizes the maximum payoff achievable. That rule is called the maximum rule. In maximum, in maximum rule, you want to choose the maximum of the minimum. That is selecting the alternatives that maximizes the minimum payoff. 
selecting the alternative that maximizes the minimum payoff. That means the investor will look at the alternative at the supply level with the minimum payoff and then maximize it. That is, and then choose the maximum of it. The investor will look at the alternative at the supply level with minimum payoff and then choose the maximum of it. That is for the maximum. This approach is appropriate for risk averse investors. The maximum rule is, is appropriate for risk averse investors. The number three is the minimus regret. Mini max regret. The first mini is talking about the minimum. The max there is talking about the maximum. So, minimax, minimax, minimax regret rule is the strategy. Is the strategy that minimizes the strategy that minimizes the that maximum regret. Minimax regret rule is suitable for the risk averse investors. What do we mean by regret in this context? Regret. Regret is defined as the opportunity opportunity loss through having made the wrong decision. Opportunity loss through having made the wrong decision. What are the steps for using minimus regret rule? Steps. The first step is to calculate the regret. How do we calculate the regret? To calculate the regret, you choose the maximum from the demand rule from the from each of the demand rule rule and subtract each of the other elements in that row in that row from it choose the maximum from each of the demand row and subtract each of the other elements in that row from it. The second step is to choose the maximum of the regret. Step two, choose the maximum of the regret. So these are the steps you need to follow when you are using the Minimax regret rule. I want to take a question as a work example to explain the three rules. Example, a company is choosing which of three new products to make, A, B or C, and has calculated likely payoffs 
Under three possible scenarios, one, two, or three, given the following payoff table, you have the profit or loss. Product choosing. You have scenario one, two, and three. Product choosing. We have A, B, or C. You are given their payoff. Using one, maximus rule. Two, maximum rule. Three, minimax regret rule. Which of the products will be chosen? That is the question. Now let's have the solution. Solution. The first one is using maximus rule. Maxi mass rule. You have three products to choose from A, B, and or C. Now you look at under maximum mass, you want to choose the maximum of the maximum. So you look at the supply. The supply here. We have three scenarios A, B, and us. I mean, three products to choose from A, B, or C. We want to supply one of the three products. Now let's look at the product A. The maximum of this is 50. So, 50 is the maximum for product A. Product B, the maximum is 80. Product C, the maximum is 100. Remember, you are using maxi mass rule. You are taking this maxi first, the latter maxi first. So, that means you are choosing the maximum of each of the products in line with this mazi then now consider the first mazi that is which is also talking about the maximum you now want to choose the maximum of those maximum you have selected now look at the three products now the maximum we have selected for the three products is product c therefore c is 700 therefore product c Product C should be chosen using the maximus rule. Product C should be chosen. Now, number two, you have to use the maximum rule. Maximum. Number two, maximum rule. You consider this mean first. That is the minimum. You consider the minimum first. There are three products involved. A, B, and C. For product A, which one is the minimum? The minimum is 20. So, you choose the 20. For product B, the minimum is minus 70. 70. For product C, the minimum is 10. 10. So you consider this mean. I've told you that the mean here is talking about the minimum. So you now want to consider the first maxi there. You want to choose the maximum of the minimum. Of this minimum, the maximum is 20. Therefore, product a should be chosen should be chosen choosing using rule. that is the solution to the number two number three now you want to use minimax regret rule minimax Regret rule. I gave you two steps under this method. I told you that to use the minimum regret rule, the first thing is to calculate the regrets. Calculate the regrets. 
Now remember three products are involved A, B, and C. We have three scenario, 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 one, two, and three. So we are having the profit or loss. Loss in bracket. Now, after you that, you identify the maximum payoff in each of the demand row. If you look at this demand row, the maximum is 80. You now subtract each of the other payoff from the maximum of the demand row. Here, you'll be having 80 minus 20. 80 minus 20 will give us 60. You have 60. Then, 80 minus 80 will give us 0. 80 minus 10, that will give us 70. This, we are calculating our regrets. Then, under scenario 2, demand row. The maximum is 100, 100. You subtract every other element from this 100. Therefore, we'll be having 100 minus 40. That will give us 60. 100 minus 70 will give us 30. 100 minus 100 will give us 0. Then we have the scenario 3. Scenario 3, the maximum is 50. 50 minus 50 will give us 0. 50 minus minus 70. Remember this is negative. 50 minus and this is minus 70. So that will be 50 plus minus times minus become plus. 50 plus 70. That gives us 120. So that means we have 120 here. Then 50 minus 40. That gives us 10. Now we have done with this maximum. So minimus regret. You know we are in minimus regret rule. So you want to choose. We have identified the maximum regret and we have subtracted every element from it. Then we now choose the maximum of the regret. Which one is the maximum? Here you have 60. Here you have 120. Here you have 70. Therefore, this is the maximum of the regrets. Therefore, which of the products you'll be choosing? This is the maximum of the of everything. 120. Therefore, product B should be chosen. That is the solution to the question. This is the end of this presentation. The next part, I will examine the calculation of payoff. Calculation of payoff table. I will examine the payoff table. I will also solve a comprehensive examination question that will involve the payoff table and the triple assessment. We are maximum rule, the minimax regret and the maximus where the rules will be used. A single question that will encompass all these ones will be examined in the next video. Thanks for watching Nezika.